In this video, we'll cover the process of installing Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013 in its demo version. Before we can install Microsoft Dynamics NAV, we need to have a copy of SQL Server 2012 Express. We're going to do this simple installation, and it requires SQL Server 2012 Express. So I'm going to search for SQL Server 2012 Express on the Microsoft.com site. Go to Downloads, and here's the download. Pick the appropriate version and download it, and I've already done that. And I put it right here in my Downloads directory. We've already downloaded the SQL 2012 Express installation, so I'll just double-click it to start. And here we're just going to do a straight click-through installation. Okay, now that the SQL installation screen is up, we're going to tell it we want to do a new installation. There is another instance of SQL Server on this machine, so when it comes up, you'll see a list of the other instances after we click through a few things. SQL Server Setup checks to make sure that everything's okay on the machine. If you do get any messages at this point, they'll be because perhaps you don't have something installed that needs to be installed. I would suggest, particularly if you're using Windows 7, Windows 2008 R2, or Windows 8, that you go ahead and load all the service packs. Go ahead and run your Windows update and load all the service packs and anything else that Windows Update finds for your machine. Otherwise, you may get a, a message here that tells you that the prerequisites are not installed. So we accept the license terms. And we're also going to include the setup update, which we'll now download. If you happen to download and install SQL Server 2012 at a later date, you might get a slightly different version of these screens simply because you might be a little different at a little different point in the installation cycle. So the patches and upgrades that need to be loaded on this particular version at this particular date might be different from the patches that need to be loaded a month from now. Okay, now uh, this is the next screen that comes up. I'm just going to leave everything default. You can change these things if you realize that you need to. This particular screen has the install directories and such as that on them. You do want to install all the features that are available in SQL Express. We're going to go ahead and let it call itself SQL Express. You see I have a couple of additional instances out there. If you had a SQL Express instance already, you might need to change the instance. You might want to call it something like NAV 2013 or SQL 2012. As long as later in the process you remember what the name of it is, you should be okay. I'm just going to leave this okay, this uh, exactly the same. Again, click through installation. And we'll go ahead and leave Windows Authentication Mode out. I'll just show you the data directories user instances, and file stream is not enabled. So all we'll do is click Next. Next. This is where the actual installation of the product occurs. And it does take a few minutes for this to happen on a typical system. So you'll just be waiting while the installation progresses. OK, and when everything is complete, you'll see this screen. At that point, you can just click Close and you can close out of the SQL Server 2012 installation. So now we've downloaded the Dynamics NAV 7.0 or 2013 product. We want to right click on it, do Extract All, and I just let it extract the default folder, which you can see puts it on my desktop. Since I've already done that, we'll just drag the folder over here, and we'll go ahead and open this folder and come down, and I would suggest you go ahead and right-click this and do Run as Administrator. You don't really have to, but it may save you some issues depending on who you're logged in as, what rights you have. 
So now again, we're just going to click through. We're going to install the demo. It's going to say, I need Microsoft Outlook. I'm going to ignore that. We just won't be able to use the Outlook integration. And I'm just going to let this run. And when the installation finishes, you'll get a screen that tells you whether you had any error messages. In this case, I got a screen that indicated that I didn't have Outlook installed. So there were five or six error messages related to that. Once it's finished and I close that screen, then I will be ready to go in and find Microsoft Dynamics Nav 2013. And we get a message that indicates that this is the demonstration company. This is Cronus Canada. We'll switch it in just a second. And then we get the default role center, which is the sales order processor. And you can begin the demonstration. Ah, to open USA, just click on the blue button, select company, pull the drop down down and Cronus USA and click OK. And you'll be switched to Cronus USA. Keep in mind on a demonstration license, you'll be able to see all the functionality in the product and to use it, but you can only make entries in the last two months and the first two months of a year.